everyone, I am Lydia Collins and I am here with the very first episode of Lydia's Opinions. Because Lydia's, it's my opinions. Today I will be wigging and unwigging the looks um, from season four of Quartz Drag Race. I stole the wig and unwig thing from my season on Supreme Drag Race where Chestnut wigged and unwigged um, the different looks from the girls. So there's that. First up we have Avery. I think this is a super cool look. I'm not sure if this is the like first thing I would think of um, when I think of floral, but I'm so uh, impressed on how she made the look different and stand out from the crowd. I think this is a really cool look. Uh, I'm gonna give this a big, fat wig. Next up we have Brute, or Brute. Um, I'm not sure, please clock me and correct me in the comments. I think your face is super cool looking. I love what you have going on there. I just don't really like the outfit part of it. I think that just kind of throws me off and turns me off to the, to the look a little bit. Um, I would love to see the outfit a little more judged up. But I think what, what she did with the face is really cool. So I'm gonna wig the face and unwig the outfit. Next we have Catherine. The first thing I saw when I saw her look was that it looks a little bit messy, but it looks super, super, super cool too. I think her overall presentation of the whole look coming out all like, uh, you know, broken down and stuff. That looks super cool. I really like what she did up here. Uh, the hair could have been different. I would have liked to see different hair on her, but um, I think this is a pretty cool look. I'm gonna give this a big old wig. Next up we have D-E-S or Des. Here's how it is spelled because I'm not sure. I think this could have been really cute if it was done not how it was done. Um, I really like the glasses, um, but that's the glasses and the wig is all about is all about it that I like. I think her face looks a little bit like sickly when she takes the glasses off. But the overall look, she does look cute, but it's not my personal favorite, so I'm gonna have to unwig it. I'm so sorry. Ah! Next up we have Miri. I think this is really, really beautiful. I am a little upset that I can see the chicken wire that she put underneath the dress to like uh, stick the carnations to, but I think she looks beautiful um i really love her makeup um i don't have much to complain about with this look i think she looks really pretty and i'm gonna give this a wig ophelia i would have never guessed that her uh theme was violets or flowers in general but you look snatched as fuck and everything is on point. I just wish there was more flowers. I'm gonna give this a wig. Next up is Spior. Now I think this is so, 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 so cool. Um, I really like the direction that she took this in. Um, it could be schlucked up together a little bit more, tightened at the waist or something a little bit um, cleaner with the bodysuit. But uh, I think the uh, rough around the edges parts of it is what makes me really like it. Um, I only have one complaint. I do not understand the weird little 
movements of the runway. I guess it's like, I'm not sure. I just don't think it fits like the theme of the runway. I don't think flowers would like walk like a uh, Trinity Taylor. <laughs> but the look is super cool. Um, this is a big old wig. Next up is Vanilla. Um, I think there's a lot of things that could have been done differently about her look. I'm, I'm not a big fan of like plain hair, like just straight hair um, for races. Um, I can see if like the makeup or the outfit would be super good, then plain hair is fine, or if it fits the challenge, but it just does not fit here. I would have loved to see an updo or something different other than straight hair. The little heart she has on her chest with the flowers in it, um, I wish that carried everywhere on the outfit for her. Then that would have made me like it even more, and I could have saw that more time was put into it. But, did not look like much time was spent on it. I'm gonna have to give her an unwig. Next up we have the black haired goblin girl who was jumping around doing her little Vogue things. There was not a name attached to her, but I will find her name and attach it right here. So she is next up. I think your presentation was super adorable. Um, I feel like from here down it was a little lackluster, but this entire area was uh, really cool. I think you looked gorgeous, and I really liked your little dance moves. It was super cute. So you, unnamed little goblin girl, you're gonna get a wig. Next is another unnamed girl because a name was not attached to her and she has a flower background behind her. So I will attach her name here, here again. I do not like the presentation or the look as much as I liked others this week. I feel like she didn't really have a plan of what she was doing. She was like, oh, flower background matches my dress. Perfect, let's go. But I do not like uh, how the look was put together. It does look like she rested a lot. Um, it just looks very basic. It looks like uh, not a lot of time was put into this. I really hope I get to see what she does next week because I want to give her something else than an unwig. But this week, it is definitely an unwig. My top wig of the week is... Avery! Trend alert is... Not fitting the challenge. But still somehow looking great. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Lydia's Opinions.